Uh, of course, I feel very happy. I'm uh, very honoured uh, to receive this award and uh, I have to sincerely thank uh, Fortune Times for selecting me as a recipient. Um, it's uh, nice uh, to be recognised after close to two decades of uh, you know, hard work and effort that I put into the business. Um, over the last uh, two decades, you know, I have to say I'm very privileged to work with some great mentors. Uh, who have really taught me and guided me along the way, uh, as well as had the opportunity to work in businesses where I've had the chance to grow and contribute uh, towards the business's future. Um, I, you know, some of the uh, great business leaders that I've worked with, uh, you know, past and present, actually uh, include, uh, you know, hailing from a family business, uh, my own uh, late grandfather, as well as my father as well. You know, uh, two of them have been very, very influential in my life. My grandfather, you know, taught me, you know, the importance of having good core values. And aside from being just a good businessman, I realized that it is much more important to be a good person with an honest heart. Uh, as my father, I think he taught me, you know, the meaning of working hard and persevering, uh, as well as having a strong fighting spirit and uh, being able to handle pressure, uh, you know, uh, in the right manner. So for this, you know, I'm really grateful uh, to both of these uh, gentlemen, I think, for the influence they've had on my life, as well as all the other wonderful uh, business leaders that I've had the privilege of working with. And I, will of, of course, would also like to thank our staff, you know, who have just been amazing. You know, this includes uh, both my former colleagues as well as my current ones. They have worked uh, closely with me, tirelessly, you know, and, and very dedicated. And, uh, you know, it's thanks to them that I'm also attaining uh, the, this recognition today. Yeah, about the, you know, future visions. I mean, wow, I mean, lots of visions for the future, right? Obviously, you know, we all hope for more uh, peace in the world and greater harmony across uh, ethnicities and religions. You know, but specifically regarding, I think, the future and the business world, I, uh, certainly the future uh, lies strongly around uh, connectivity, you know, I think, and uh, also uh, disruption to a certain extent. We live in a very disruptive world right now where, you know, um, uh, established business models are being challenged. Uh, you know, technology is speeding up the pace of change and, um, you know, globalization is also uh, changing age-old paradigms. So I think, you know, we all, as bis all businesses, need to constantly innovate and find new and better ways to do things. Uh, as for us at CDL, being a real estate company, I think we need to embrace uh, technology in, in a bigger manner and uh, harness it in order to provide better solutions to the real estate sector. I think this is very important for us to continue to keep our competitive edge. And on this front, we are already uh, doing that. I mean, we've started investing in companies, uh, I think that will help us you know, to maintain a competitive uh, edge in this sector. And aside from, I think, you know, uh, obviously uh, technology as an enabler, uh, another very important aspect that is a key part of uh, CDL's DNA is um, uh, our sustainability. Uh, I think, you know, this, uh, we've all seen the damage and the change that's happening to this world, you know, global warming, everything. We owe it to ourselves, you know, to really, you know, uh, create a more sustainable, uh, world, uh, you know, since we all live in this place, uh, create a more sustainable environment for the future. And at CDL, we've always believed that we should conserve as we construct, you know, and, and this is very much uh, will always remain an important part of our DNA and, and our future drive. Thank you.